everybody. Um, it's an uh, absolute pleasure today. It's a, it's a month on since the fantastic Women's World Cup. Um, I've got one of the winning team here with me to reflect back. So, Margot van Geffen, hello and welcome to you. Hello, thank you. Well, it's uh, it's brilliant to speak to you. Now, I mean, th this is getting a little bit um, of a of a typical performance for you because three World Cups um, in in consecutive um, consecutive editions. But what does it feel like this time? You know, looking back a month ago, uh, what happened in Tarasa? Um, how do you reflect on that before on your team's performance and, and winning that World Cup? Um, yeah, it was a totally different year for us. Um, we had some uh, very lows and some. Very good highs at the end, luckily. Um, but yeah, it, yeah. Looking back, it's it's been amazing. It's been a tough year, but uh, luckily we, um, yeah, we're there on time. And um, yeah, very proud of the team that we uh, made it. Yeah, I mean, it, it must have been a huge, as you say, the team went through some ups and downs. You obviously had changing in start a change in staff and you had a, you you had lots of changes within the team people will be surprised to hear that because you know to the outside viewer there's the dutch they win the olympics in tokyo there's the dutch they win matches in the pro league there's the dutch they don't stop winning but it will it will sort of maybe surprise people to know you have the low moments as well but as a team did it feel like a huge release to get to the world cup and to do what you do best which is basically gather pace gather pace and then win the event yeah i think so um because we didn't play our best this season um as i said it was, it was just a roller coaster and and we didn't play like we can play and we know it's it was in us so mm. it was a bit frustration and that we couldn't get it and show the world that we can play so good as we can and luckily um yeah our last game was the best game and that we know now it's still in us and that we can build from there towards Paris so that's that's the yeah relief uh feeling actually yeah I mean the, the team um it, it again you're a mixture and, and you whenever I speak to you we talk about the oldies and the new members of the team but there's a very noticeable sort of um group of new players wasn't there and and obviously yourself Marlos Keetles, Eva de Goud etc who have been around for a long time um do you think the new members of the team now understand what it is to be Orange because you hit that peak at the very end of the tournament. Do you think that was the thing that they needed to see and experience and play in, in order to understand what it means to be in the Dutch team? Yeah, I think so. Like some uh, young players are going easily in, like in the team and they play very well, but they also feel now that it's not like easy to play in the, in the national team and that, uh, yeah, all the pressure they feel and, um, but it was a good experience for them as well. Also, the young people that played their first tournament, it was quite a lot that played. Like I think we had eight people in the team that played the first World Cup. So yeah. there was a very good uh, mix of young and old. And um, yeah, it's good that they get the experience to play on the highest level. Mm. I think one of the, uh, I mean, you talk about the final match um, and, and we'll come on to that in a bit more detail in a minute. But the final match, there was one moment in that final match, which I think, for me, was everything that the Dutch were about. And that was when the ball was played out of defence. And it was two or three touches. And then it was played to Felice Albers. And she set off down the pitch and scored. And that was the sort of the experience of your team getting the ball out of defence. And then this young player just whipping through. That was a that was a fantastic moment in a fantastic performance, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, when, when you say it, I got goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> it, was, it was so nice that we... Uh, like play that ticky tucky hockey what we wanted to show everyone and um, yeah it started we in our own D if I if I'm right. right in the corner and then it was just touches against um, between Maria and uh, Eva and she passed it to Freke and Freke passed it to Spillis yeah it was a wonderful goal and it's yeah. it's a team goal that you defend well with together and attack with with everyone and yeah that that was a brilliant one. Yeah, and the finish was magnificent as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 
in that in that final, I mean, like you say, throughout the tournament, you you grew and grew and grew, and actually, that's something that your team is sort of renowned for, isn't it? You 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 tend to start tournaments quite quietly, and you maybe win two nil or three nil, and for most teams that would be great. But for you guys, generally, you're building up to something else, aren't you? And and we really saw that. Um, we saw that in uh, in both um, Amsterdam and Terrassa as you gradually built into the tournament. Do you do you feel confident each time that that is what the team is going to do? Do you feel a confidence in yourselves that you know how to manage that process? Yeah, but sometimes also insecure. Like when you when you know, like when we start, we want to start very well, and um, then we want to smash every team. But sometimes it's like what you said: two 0 three 0 and in our head we want to play and want to yeah score more goals but we always um check out with each other after the game and then we talk about stuff that went well and that was yeah that what what we have to do better the next game Mm -hmm. and we always believe in ourselves and tell everyone like okay we know we can do better but like it's coming later it's coming later (laughs) just uh, step by step and then we grow into the tournament but yeah it it's like sometimes insecure but we know we can do it and yeah. Yeah, we proved it again so that's deep, nice. deep down there's that confidence isn't there you you sort of have the doubts but deep down somewhere there's, yeah. there's that confidence and um, you want to show the world from the start that we can play like the final you know yeah, that's, it's exciting, it's exciting sure. watching it, though, because it always leaves a little question mark, you know, who could beat the Dutch? And, and at the start of the tournament, people are saying, oh, you know, maybe this time. But, uh, you know, you always work to the end. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it was a it was a two um, centre tournament, which is quite unusual. How did that work for you? What was it? Was it good for you to be in one, one place and have the home crowd behind you and then move elsewhere? Or how, how did it feel for the team? Yeah, it was different, uh, especially. Yeah, our home crowd is so amazing. And every time I stepped on the field, I was looking around and I was like, wow, this is the best thing you can have. Like on your own pitch, your home crowd behind you, your family, friends, all the Dutch people cheering for you. So it was a bit like disappointing to when we were watching in Spain and it was not crowded and we were like, ah, shit, we have to leave our beautiful country. But luckily, okay, the semi-final wasn't that um, crowded, but the final was amazing as well against Argentina. And also, like, our crowd, but their crowd is amazing as well. And then if they are against you and we play good, then it's it's nice. And I love the atmosphere. Brilliant. Yeah. And, and I mean, when you got to that final, um, had you been watching... I mean, you, don't, you had obviously been watching Argentina's progress, but they had a pretty amazing semi-final against Germany yeah. um in in your heads were you thinking right okay they probably peaked for the German game or were you thinking oh hello they're looking really quite good now yeah I think the first thing uh I I also thought are oh, they really good but they have had a really tough game mm-hmm. so we're like okay we are fitter and they are tired they had a peak now and um Let's let's go for it. We felt very confident, and we love to play Argentina as well, and also Germany. But we played them in the pool, and um, yeah, it, it was just like we're ready after that game. <laughs> you really were. I mean, you really did pull out a performance there, which is fantastic. Um, just at the end, I mean, we we know that Marlo's um, Keitels is uh, has, or oh, has retired. Um, and there was a, a real emotional feeling as you were on the podium and everything. Um, do you, you know, in terms of what it felt like to have won, in your case, your third World Cup and, uh, you know, in, in circumstances that you say had been quite tough. Um, what was the sort of the, the, the team emotions at the end there? Was, was it was it a little bit different, a little bit more special this time? Yeah, I think so, because we had a, like a tough year and we chatted a lot um, this year and, we haven't played very much hockey and uh, it was a lot of chatting and uh, getting together again. Yeah. So that's why all the emotion came out that we did it and uh, yeah, and that we are such a team now and hopefully we can build up further and further. Build up to Paris. Yeah. yeah. How, did you, how did you celebrate? Was it a typical Dutch celebration that night? Uh, yeah, we went to a club in Barcelona, Opium. So it was like 
to the early mornings and then <laughs> we went home. <laughs> so it was a quite a good one, yeah. Brilliant. And you've since then you've had a holiday. So uh, what what's next? Is it is it now getting back together as a squad, or are you back with your club? What's what's the next sort of the, the couple of next couple of weeks hold for you? Uh, yeah, back to the clubs. Um, our competition starts on the fourth of September. So we are pre-season now and uh, prepping for that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we have a new bonds coach again. So we uh, just got an email and he said like, okay, just go back to your clubs and um, we will start in October again to uh, prep for the pro league games in December. Yeah. So like August and September are like a bit easier only at the club. And then we start with the national team as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, just on a very, sort of just to wrap up on a personal basis for you. I mean, you have been with the team a long time, haven't you? I think in 2011, did you make your, your debut? Yeah, um, it's it's a it's a really intense environment being an elite athlete. It's really intense being the best of the best because you've always got to keep that very high standard. What drives you on? Is it, is it pure love of the team? Is it love of the sport? What 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 makes you want to stay at that level? Yeah, a bit of both. I love playing in a team and uh, the process and uh, the team building stuff. Um, and also love love the game. Um, and uh, yeah, I switched clubs because I was like a bit boring. And I, I didn't know if it was like hockey general or something else. But uh, yeah, now I'm, I'm with my new team. I'm, I'm like a little kid again. I'm, I love <laughs> it. And I think this is the right uh, thing to do. So... I just love the game and, and love being an athlete. So that keeps Brilliant. me up. And we, we love watching you play as well. I must just mention that um, during the Women's World Cup, um, a Women in Sport webinar was held by the FAH, starring uh, quite a lot of different um, people from the world of hockey, Murray Fleurin, Yannicka Schottman, Adrian Locke, Berta Van Astra all took part in that. So people can check that out on the YouTube channel. Um, but I, I just want to say to you, Margot, um, you know, the, the Women's World Cup was a fantastic example of female sport at its best. Um, we saw the most amazing performance from you guys in the final. Um, thank you personally for joining us on this call and, and good luck with the future and uh, uh, good luck in Paris 2024, I think uh, we can say. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It was a pleasure to be here. So thank you.